Hey guys, Jesse Lavelle, welcome back to the channel. I'm out in the woods, my favorite place to be. It's springtime, so there's a lot of activity lately with wildlife, and I'm hoping that we're gonna see the kingfisher. I've been watching them for like the last month or so. Well, I've been watching them for the last few years or so, and every single time that I've gone back to this one spot, I've seen multiples of them. So we're gonna go back there, wait it out, and hopefully we're gonna see them. So let's go see if they're there. Okay, so I'm right on that ridge point that I was talking about before, and no kingfishers to be heard or seen. But that's kind of how it goes when you shoot wildlife. That's something that most photographers should probably be prepared for if you decide to get into wildlife photography, is be prepared to come out, spend a bunch of time, enjoy yourself outside, because you're probably going to walk away empty-handed more times than you're gonna come out with a really nice shot. Since I don't see anything, the best thing is to just kind of sit, hunker down, be quiet, or just wait and see if anything comes. bring ourselves down off the ridge. This is where I got those shots of the kingfisher in flight. So I know they're coming up here, I hear them. So it's low tide, so this whole little ravine is kind of dried out. You see some of the sad parts about New Jersey, some of the trash, it's too bad, because it is such a beautiful spot. All right, let's just go a little bit deeper into the woods, because I know they hang out up here too. It's so hard because I want to chase the birds, but I know I'm better off just being quiet and hanging out and waiting. Definitely hearing the red-bellied woodpecker a lot. So now it's more of a cat and mouse waiting game. So there's the big ridge right over here to my right, and that's what's going to overlook Crosswick's Creek where I actually see the kingfishers. But these birds are so smart that the second they know I'm here, they're not going to come close enough for me to get a shot. So what I have to do is come over the knoll, wait here and hang out for a little bit. They relax, they'll come back to that spot. I know for some reason they wanna hang out in these trees on this side of the river or up this canal behind us. But if I'm here and they know that I'm here, they're not gonna do that. So I have to kind of be quiet, hang out and wait. Then they'll show up. I can try to get some shots off before they notice me and take back off across the Crosswicks Creek again. And that's kind of the game that I've been playing with these guys for like the last month. Anyway, wish me luck. I have been photographing them the last month, like I said. I did get a couple of shots that I was pretty happy with, but I still haven't got the money shot of the Kingfisher that I'm after. But I was pretty happy with these in-flight shots of the Kingfisher. Now, I do shoot with auto ISO, and I was shooting at f8 and one four thousandth of a second, and the metering unfortunately brought that up to ISO 12,800. I even think it overexposed it a little bit. I had to bring it down in post. Luckily enough, with the Canon R6 sensor, I'm able to deal with that amount of noise and still get recoverable images thanks to the Canon R6. Love this camera so much for wildlife photography. It's another reason that I really think using full-frame cameras is really advantageous when you want to shoot wildlife. You can do it with APS-C sensors, of course. The reach is obviously a really big help. That's something that I really miss when I switched over to full-frames exclusively was the extra reach from the 1.6 crop factor that I no longer have using a full frame sensor. But I do think having the better high ISO performance definitely outweighs it. And unfortunately, you just need to spend more money on better glass that has more reach to compensate for the fact that you don't have that crop factor when you go to a full frame sensor. Anyway, guys, if you think this video helped you in any way, think about going below, subscribing, clicking that notification bell, and I'll see you on my next video.